In this video, I will show you how to create an awesome text animation, using Adobe After Effects. Let's get started. Download, and open the Illustrator file. Here I have separated each part, making it easier to create the animation. Select all layers, and export them into After Effects. Here, I'm using a plugin called, Overload, to export. Simply drag and drop the Illustrator file into After Effects if you do not have this plugin. These are my composition settings. You can adjust it to the same setting if you have a different one. Select the background layer, and lock it. So it will easier to manage layers. Again, select the rectangle shape layer. And change its color to a different one. Select both rectangle and the text layers. Press Ctrl plus D, and make a duplicate. Right click, and pre-compose it. Then hide that composition. Let's start with animating the small stroke line, first. So select the bar layer, and press S, to open scale settings. Make two keyframes. 100, and 0. We need to change the height parameter only. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and create a speed graph like this. Let's check the animation. Play with the keyframes, and adjust the timing. OK. Now it's good. Press P, and open position settings. Create a keyframe here. Move the timeline a few frames forward. Take this bar, to the opposite side. Then it will automatically create a keyframe. Again, move the timeline a few frames forward. And create a new keyframe. Copy the first keyframe, and paste it here. Select all keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and change the speed graph to a shape like this. Let's check the animation. I think the animation is a little bit speedy. So mess with the keyframes, and correct its timing. Move all the keyframes to the start position. Click this icon, and enable the motion blur. Also, check the motion blur icon, on this shape layer as well. Take this rectangular shape to the top of the text layer. So we can use it as a mask. Place the timeline in the middle of these two keyframes. Then parent it to the top layer. Select the text layer, and change its track mat to alpha mat. Let's check the animation. OK. The animation looks good. Again, select this rectangle shape and make a duplicate. Then move it to the top of phase 2 composition. I will name it as mask 2. Again, take the timeline into the middle of these two keyframes. Remove the parent layer. Move the timeline to the end of the animation. Then parent the top layer again. So in this method we do not have to worry about the placement of the mask. Enable the phase 2 layer. Change its track mat to alpha mat. Double click and go to the phase 2 composition. Now change the track mat to alpha inverted mat. Again move the timeline into the middle. Press alt plus left bracket keys and cut both layers. Let's check the animation. Now we have almost finished the animation. Again, move the timeline into this position and cut this layer as well. OK. Now select all these layers, and pre-compose them. Let's add a zoom out effect to the animation. So move the timeline to a position like this. Open scale settings, and create two keyframes. I will set the scale values as 85, and 65. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. Go to graph editor and create a speed graph like this. 
check the final animation, and now we are done. Thank you.